So, apparently these ears, they call them, on the frame are different from 01 to 03. And uh, people are saying that they should just uh, cut them off, take them from an 03 and weld them on here. <sighs> That's a lot of work. Because I don't know how the heck you cut, cut those welds off there and... You know, on the back sides of them, there's not a whole lot of room to get a grinder up in there, and, and a torch just makes a mess. So I don't know, I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's what we're doing at the moment. Uh, dealing with, I should say, not doing. Um, I took the bracket off off this side. That's I kind of put it back on, but I cut that lower flat section off. Uh, because when I put the bumper up there, that's what was hitting against, like, right here. And I was like, well, there's no way you're going to bend that lip, like, you know, up and down or more out of the way. It's just going to have to be cut off. And I figured maybe with that cut off, it would slide back to that bolt hole and see where that lined up. Well, those are way further back than where those need to mount to. Unfortunately, on the old bumper... It's part of the chrome. It's not a separate bracket. So it's like, for frick's sakes, man. You know, people are saying that these ears are weaker on the 99-02s. I have no clue. But what I do know is had they maybe reinforced them and left them and then made those brackets to fit on that bumper for those ears, they could have saved themselves money in engineering time, manufacturing time, but you know what, that's make things more difficult, cost more money and stuff like that. So, my golly, well, and because they made this funky bottom section for the grill, where this bracket is normally supposed to mount to, there's no holes. I mean, there's one, but that's not the right hole. There's no mounting holes for that thing so i gotta drill and bolt and hope it don't rust and all that good stuff so it's either that or go find some 03 brand new fenders have them painted because i got a nice dent here missing some paint and but there's nothing wrong with these fenders they're southern vendors so yeah i could probably sell them but uh there's nothing wrong with them I really don't want to have to go pay to have them painted because, well, are they even going to match? Are they, they may match the bumper, but they may not match the truck. So that's just, I have paintable fender flares. I'm hoping to get painted maybe this fall. Uh, so that way that matches. This is just going to be red and chrome. We're not doing a whole lot of black. The only black will be what's in the grill and bug guard and mirror and but I'm, I'm debating on what to do with mirrors once i get to that point which is a ways away but uh, uh i've paid a pretty dang on penny for getting this painted uh you know it was 350 for a paint job but the bumper cover uh he pretty much bought me a brand new bumper cover because the one i had ugh, off of the 06 and i just brought it to him because it's unpainted it, uh, but it's been on the truck. It's been used, abused, scraped up, banged up. I mean, we got nicks, gou whoop, nicks and gouges and stuff like that. That he's like, oh yeah, it's gonna show it through. It'll be about 180 bucks to to uh, clean that up and whatnot. And I'm like, as long as it's under 200 dollars to fix it before you paint it. Well, he found a bumper cover cheaper than having that all fixed up which i'm fine i don't want bondo on underneath my paint that's more than okay so it was pretty expensive for this bumper cover but it does look good uh, i have nothing to really complain about with it uh, i finally this bumper cover is finally secured to the bumper bar on the 06 uh i found out that he had like none of the darts uh, there was maybe, there was a handful. There was like five or six darts. There's 17 total on this bumper, and he had five or six. This bumper was always rattly. It, it, it squeaked for some reason. Either plastic darts and they're plastic little clips that the darts go in. So tell me how they squeak and they rattle. I don't know, but it did. <laughs> so that's done. 
that's all nice and buttoned up. I stole some of the darts off this, so it's all why well, that's a part. I mean, the chrome's in not that great a shape anymore. I mean, reflection wise and dent wise, and now we're getting to the rust wise, it's just going to scrap. I don't care. I mean, I whacked it against a pole over on this side and dented it and bent it in, and it's just, yeah, no good. So, the fog lights I'll sell because those are still like new, perfectly fine. I took the reflector for the bulb out of them because I figured maybe that'd make them brighter and shine further and whatever down the road but it didn't it didn't they still shine a flat line but uh so dad's gonna come down tomorrow maybe and try and help me fabric cobble a bracket system of sorts to uh to work with this maybe get the existing bracket to work I don't know I don't know because it needs to go down about an inch inch and a half the you know where the bracket wants to sit in there it sits in here not up here and the same thing over here it sits down here not up here for roughly where it's supposed to sit and that's going to be my biggest thing I had an 06 I know what the gapping was like it's going to drive me nuts if it ain't perfect <laughs> You know, when body lines are just far from perfect, you're like, God dang it. I mean, look at this hood gap. Pretty tight. Come over here. Pretty big, you know. So stuff like that's going to drive me bonkers. <sighs> this hood's probably going to go at some point anyway because I bought this off another truck and it's got a rust hole in it. And then we had a nice hailstorm. There was nothing else other than this rust hole, which is, you know, unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> There's like very little rust on the underseam and everything, and it just had to have a rust hole. But we got a hailstorm and dented the hood pretty dang a few, few good nicks here and there. And I'm like, yeah, well, we'll find a non-rusty one to put on here. So at some point down the road, this truck's pretty well rust-free. Yes, the frame's got surface rust. There's no big globs of rust cut falling off this frame. I mean, it's only seen three winters, so... It ain't, it ain't bad. Um, it was kind of sort of surface rusty when I got the truck, and then the few winters took a little bit of, I mean, you got factory undercoat coming off. That's factory. So, well, at least I'm pretty sure it is. But, uh, well, if that ain't, this is. And uh, it ain't too bad. You do that rust convert stuff, and she'll be, like, new under there. So, hell yeah, dang it anyway. <sighs> like I said, not a project for the faint of heart when you're just trying to do it. <laughs> because it just turned into a lot bigger mess than I was really hoping to mess with. So, grill fits fine, other than the little end brackets and whatnot. So, just disappointed. I can't just pop her in and be done. So, brush guard on there too is just going to look so lick. I mean, I love the way that, I love the way my 06 black and chrome looked. That was just slicker than snot. I tell you what, that was just beautiful. And I'm pretty stoked at how this looks with the uh, new bumper and, and that brush guard on there. It's just going to, oh man, is she going to shine. So, heck yeah. Get her all done up and pretty looking. I tell you what, that's gonna look. Whoops, that's gonna look good. Oh, so that brush guard on there. I had the tires road force balance yesterday because I've it's been shaking pretty doggone good, and I'm pretty sure it's the tires. Uh, it rides. I don't know. I can't tell you the percentage. It. Uh, he said all the tires needed corrected correction so but the back right tire has a high spot he says and it uh it still shakes at 70 but anything underneath and anything over 70 is pretty doggone smooth i mean i can do 80 miles an hour and hardly feel a thing so that's nice but the fact that these tires are like brand new still drives me nuts i mean they're like brand new and he said that that back right one isn't does the high spot isn't bad enough to be considered a manufacturer defect well that sucks so that's a bummer well i don't know at some point it might get michelins anyway but 
It rides better. Yeah, it's just gonna look good though. It's just gonna look good. Well, the sucky thing too is that may be a factory paint color for this truck because this truck's been repainted once already and he did a horseshit job because clear coat just comes blasting off with a pressure washer. I mean, it's just all over now. And that's just disgusting. <laughs> but the guy was like a guinea pig when he owned this truck. Yeah, I know I need to tape that in there, but life goes on. Anyway, but there's little pock marks all over the place of clear coat peeling off. It's hard to see. It's a little, little dusty now from the dirt road, but where else we got it? Oh, top of every door. Top of every door. I don't know if you can see it. It's hard for me to see with the phone up that high, but there's clear coat peeling off everywhere. It's driving me bonkers. It's like this side's darker though, isn't it? This side matches more than the other side. You notice that? One side's a red, deeper red than the other. What the hell? Well, I had my... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not. I had my reservations about having them paint the bumper because they didn't do the greatest job on the roof. There's a few things underneath the paint. That bugs me because um, I paid for, paid for that paint job that wasn't insurance or nothing. And, uh, yeah, they wanted to... I couldn't tell you if the idiot that owned this truck before me had repainted the roof with the rest of the truck or not, but there were racing stripes where there was faded paint, and there's little pock marks. I suppose the truck's not unlocked enough to get up there. Minus all my crap. Um, well, there's a booger right there you can see sticking up through the paint. Isn't that nice? But uh, you can see a little dimple there. There's a bunch of those. And in the paint, I don't know, you can kind of see it right about here. I guess you could see like a foggy spot. Those are those racing stripes. They wanted like three or four hundred dollars to fix that stuff. And I'm like, no, it's the rough. What am I going to see in the rough? Not a lot. So I don't know. Oh, look at that. Shit's already coming up. Look at that. So much for their job, dude. Wow. Son of a bitch. <sighs> yeah, so I guess we'll see how the bumper holds out, but uh, that'll depend on what kind of review I give them. So, for frick's sakes, people. Can we do just a halfway decent job before... Before the world takes a turn for the worst type of thing. For frick's sakes, people. <sighs> anyway. Anyway, bumper looks halfway decent at the moment. Yeah, there's some orange peel in places. I prefer not to have that, but... Uh, I guess we'll see what it looks like when it's all said and done. And after maybe a year... I'll tell you who, at that point, who I got it painted through, if I didn't tell you once already, but, yeah, unfortunately, it's not going to turn out as beautiful as I had hoped, but, uh, such is the story with this thing, I mean, I try and try and try to make this thing look just absolutely gorgeous, but, uh, you know, then stuff happens, I don't know how that chrome started peeling, but... Then I tried to dremel this out, and I went a little big. It's a little bulky. And, well, then I tried to put these Escalade Platinum door arms on with the fake plastic wood trim, but then the gap shows, and, you know, it's like whatever I do, it just does not turn out. I painted these, but that's rubbing through, and, you know, <laughs> it's so hard to make this truck pretty. You know, every time I try, it just there's something about it. There's always something about it. Try and wash the truck, the clear coat comes off. You try and buff the truck, and next thing you know, there's no clear coat left. And you're like, what the hell? It's like, I'm trying to make you beautiful. Quit doing this to me. And that's like with my Honda over here. 
I'm trying to make you better with a new transmission, but it's fighting me every step of the way. It's driving me nuts. Oh, my gosh. Quit fighting and just be functional and beautiful. <laughs> There's something still humming. We had it up in the air the back end about 75 miles an hour on jack stands, and you could you, you could barely hear it outside the truck. Truck's so loud. Uh, inside the truck, you can hear it all day. It just sounds like it's right underneath you, like it's the rear tail bearing on the transfer case so i don't know transfer case is probably gonna end up getting replaced but the rear end in this thing drives me bonkers too that needs to get replaced bad it never locks up when he when you want it to anyway it doesn't work like it should anymore as a limited slip it's more of an open diff now it's garbage so in my book, if the truck don't get out of its own way in a stick, sticky situation, it just does one wheel wonders. What's what's the purpose, eh? So, anyway, hope you guys like the new bumper upgrade. Uh, I like it a lot better when it's actually mounted on the truck and not gonna fall off, and uh, where the brush guard can actually be on. So that'll be nice. But uh, stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. God bless.